In this example, we're going to see how polar coordinates can be used to make distance problems a little bit more uh, straightforward than in rectangular form. So that we have that radar detects two airplanes at the same altitude, and the polar coordinates of these airplanes are 8 miles 110 degrees and 5 miles 15 degrees. And we're expected to find out uh, how far apart the airplanes are. So let's first plot these two points in polar form. 8 miles 110 degrees, so again I'm starting here at the pole and I'm going to rotate 110 degrees, so that's 9 degrees, again remember this is 0 degrees we always start facing that direction, we rotate 90 degrees would bring us to the positive y-axis and then if I rotate another gray section, remember each of the gray sections are 15 degrees that would bring me to 105 and if I go two sections, I'm at 120. So I have to be somewhere in between uh, these two these two sections there. So and and I'm walking out eight. So it looks like my scale only goes up to six. So I'm just gonna kind of go two additional. Brings me about here. All right. So there is eight eight miles under and ten degrees. That point right there. Eight comma. 110. And the other plane is at 5 miles 15 degrees. That's more straightforward because this is 15 right here. That angle is 15 degrees. So I just need to go at 5 and that brings me to here. So there I am at 5, 15 degrees. That's the other plane. So we're expected to find the distance between those two. So this black line will be the distance between them. We need to find that. So actually, this problem is pretty straightforward because we can make a triangle here, right? If we connect the line from the pole, or the pole to the first plane, and then the pole to the to the second plane, we've got a triangle, and we know enough about this triangle to actually find that third side because. Just based on the definition of polar coordinates, this length right here is 8. And this length right here is 5. And all we would need is this interior angle here to make the law of cosines a very appropriate, uh, a very appropriate tool for this problem. And we actually do know that because if you think about it, to the to the plane that's at uh, eight one hundred and ten degrees, right? This is a rotation of this is a rotation of one hundred and ten degrees. This is a rotation of fifteen degrees, and so the difference between them is the angle in between. So this this angle right in between, and the one in the triangle, that's just one hundred and ten degrees minus 15 degrees which brings me to 95 degrees and so now just recall the law of cosines the law of cosines or one version is right below c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of c where we want to view we want to view angle C as being that angle that we know here. So we'll call this here C, the origin C. We should call the 8 our A, the 5 our B, and the D we can just call C for sake of the formula. And so now this problem is almost done. C squared equals 8 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 8 times 5 cosine of 95 degrees. We put that in the calculator and we get 
8 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 8 times 5 cosine of 95. I'm going to go check, make sure I'm in degree mode. And I get 95.972. And so therefore, when I square root, I get that distance. And the square root of that is 9.797. And the units would be miles. So, they are 9.797 miles apart. All that without having to use um, without having to use the Pythagorean theorem or the distance formula. Because remember, in rectangular form, if you want to find the distance between two points, you have to use the distance formula, which really is nothing more than the Pythagorean theorem. But we can get around that in polar form by making use of this trig formula called the law of cosines.